Here are our line call procedures. First, our lineman will call the technique of their cover down defender. So is he a one, which means he's inside, a two, head up, or three, outside. Linemen make calls indicating the combo they're calling and the number of the linebacker that they're going to combo to. The combo will never go out in front of the tight end. Uh, that linebacker or safety is for the player assigned to block force. So it could be a receiver, it could be a fullback, depending on the formation and personnel group. Any outside call is overridden by an inside call. So if a tight end calls Trey, but the tackle next to him calls Deuce, the tight end knows he'll be on his own, and the guard and tackle will work together. Now all of this really is installed uh, for teaching purposes. It really is a security blanket as the offensive linemen start to understand everything. They're able to let this go, and stems and movement after the, before or after the snap aren't going to hurt them. So front side combo calls. An ace is a call with a guard for the center to combo with him, and it's made if there's a head up or inside uh, defender on the guard. The deuce call is by the tackle for the guard to combo with him, uh, and it typically is only versus a 50 defense or a 3-4, and it's versus a head-up or outside technique. A trade call is by the tight end for the tackle to combo with him. It's versus a head-up or outside shade on the tight end. Backside combos also have calls as well. Charlie's a call between the center and the backside guard uh, for the backside guard to give help on a shade uh, or one technique. George is a call between the backside guard and the backside tackle. And Tom's a call between the backside tackle and the backside tight end if there's a tight end to the backside. So here's some examples of, of how this would work. Again, an outside call over is overridden by an inside call. So if we start uh, on the outside here, we see that the uh, right tight end and tackle are comboing the uh, inside player to number 51 with a tray block. Okay, we got an ace to 39, and we got a George to 44. We're going to leave the last player, the end man on the line, uh, is going to be kept for the quarterback or naked fate. Okay, here's a 4-4 or 4-2-5, basically a six-man box. We got a tray, 39. And on the stretch, the, the responsibility of the outside linebacker, 51, is the fullback. He has force. Uh, maybe it's even, uh, depending if we're in one back, that could be a, a safety coming from the alley. So we got a trade to 39. We got an ace to 44. And we got a George to 48. And here's an example versus a 5-2 or 3-4. Okay, so starting on the outside, the, the tight end would call a tray. He sees a three, call a tray. Uh, but... We got a deuce called by the tackle to 51. That overrides the tray, and now the tight end will be working on his own. Uh, the next combo we have is the center and the backside guard. We have a, a head up technique uh, on the center. So we got a Charlie to 39, and we're going to sift heavy with the backside tackle. Here's a 3 3 stack. Again, starting from the outside, uh, we have a tray to the walk-up called, which will be overridden by the deuce to 51. Charlie to 39, and now the backside tackle will have to sift most dangerous in his area. So he'll take his own step, and the guy who's responsible for that B-gap comes into the B-gap will be the guy that he takes. 